Welcome, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for your support and uh, just your your willingness to look deeper into the things that I'm pointing to with this understanding known as the three principles or the inside out understanding. Uh, but in this video, uh, what I want to cover for you are a few things. One is what are the three principles <laughs> that people are talking about? What is this inside out understanding that's helping people come to a realization of themselves that's allowing them to live a better life? Um, what is the distinction of these things? How do they work for me and how, how can I benefit with them? Well, that's what I'm talking about in this particular video. So you want to stay tuned. So the three principles, the inside out understanding are really psycho-spiritual um, ways of explaining how the human mind works, how the human experience work. And why, what I love about them is that they really give me, um, myself, the opportunity to find my value and find my love and foundation well before I ever have to show up in any responsibility. So it's kind of like all of my relationships are free to be what they are because my value is is in just being alive and that is what these principles have allowed me the opportunity to see so that means i show up to these particular relationships with so much love and vigor and excitement because um, i'm just excited to be alive uh, so again like I, I mentioned in the introduction i want to talk about what they are and so i'll start with principle number one the universal principle of mind and it is described as the universal intelligence of life, God, the energy that's responsible for creating us as human beings or, or all of creation for that matter, that which is responsible for making the, the sunrise, you know, um, the, the trees grow and bloom and seasons to pass along, that yeah. part of the system that ensure our respiratory system works properly by breaking down oxygen for us, um, that creative energy of life. Um, the first principle gets you to understand that you are connected to that. And so because you are connected to that, you're whole. Regardless of the experience in which you're having, you're whole, you're, you're not broken. And when you stay remembering that you're not broken, then the preceding principles in which we talk about make a lot of sense. So starting from the premise again, of knowing you are connected to that universal life, but connected to God, that God is within you. Um, you have then knowledge of your creative power, which is principle number two, what we call thought. So thoughts are your creative power. Think about this. There is nothing you have in your human experience that doesn't come from a thought. Everything we have, all of this, the books I read, the things like that comes from because someone had a thought to do it. And from that thought, they brought it into what we call form, tangible, you know, experience, tangible experience. Why that's so important to know is to know that my power of thought is a gift. Now, I want to make a distinction here. And the distinction is in the power of my thought, my creative power of thought and the content of my thinking. Okay. Those are two different things. See, and why it's so important to know that is because when you realize in this understanding that your thoughts create your reality, you then become aware that those anxious days and, and those moments of negativity have just derived from some thoughts that were just lacking subconsciously in the back of your head. Um, and, and that allows you the opportunity once you become aware that you're, you're in a feeling that you don't like to boom, snap out and change the thought. Um, I, I often say, or I've said before, like when you're looking at one side of a coin, you can only see that side. You have to remember that you have the ability to flip that coin to change what you see. You are in control of that. That's your creative power. Now, people often get confused again with the content of their thinking to believe that's them. So you think you are not this, you think you are not that, or you think you are this, or you think you are that. Again, all of that may at some point benefit you, but if it's holding you back, then drop it because it's absolutely not necessary for you to have a better life. All right. 
Your thoughts are just what allows you to bring action into this world. So some of them may not be what you want them to be. They may be attached to some negative experiences in which you've had in memory. And again, what the principles allows us to do is reconcile with the truth. Truth being those things in which we can't change, those that exist. We do that. We make we make peace with those memories, not you know, releasing people of their accountability and responsibility so much, but, or even not even saying spiritual bypassing, just reconciling with the moment that it can't be changed. And so the only way to, to deal differently with this experience is to change the way in which I look at it. And I do that through the way that I think. So I just love knowing, uh, with the second principle of thought, with this having its creative power, that I'm always one thought away from a totally new experience. And, uh, principle number three, which is consciousness, one of my favorite ones to talk mostly about is because it's awareness. And and I spent a lot of time uh, while in the military talking about awareness. And so it made a lot of sense to me to um, when when I became aware of the role my thoughts played in creating my reality and in my life. And that awareness man, allows me or for me, it feels like I can thrive and it feels like it's again, it feels tangible to me. Um, so. Consciousness. Consciousness is my awareness of when I'm operating in capacity, capacity, full capacity of love. Consciousness is my awareness of when I'm uh, not allowing myself the full experience of what's in front of me. Consciousness is my awareness when I may be bringing something from the past and adding it to a situation when it is absolutely not necessary to be in this situation. Consciousness is my ability to stay present. Consciousness is my not uh, getting caught in my past, not being scared by my future consciousness is being aware of the moments in which I have that truly allow me to create the life that I want. Um, and so those really are the three principles. Well, how they help you, how they how they benefit you is they they really set you up in a foundational sense that no matter what you go out to do, you truly set yourself up success because you're creating it as you go and you're playing by your rules. For me, or for even many of the people that I interview who, who talk about um, finding their own way, uh, we're really always only looking for ourselves. And, and sometimes we spend a lot of time looking externally for that. But but when these these three principles point you to to the inside and, and where you really find you at and the more and more you become aware or the more and more you settle into a deeper understanding of who you are, um, you see more of yourself within the world. You see you see more, because you're alive and you see aliveness, you resonate with it and it, it really just changes your experience. So. Um, yeah, that's how the principles for me work and how I apply them in my life. And they settle me down when I get stirred up about financial things within my business. They uh, settle me down when I find myself tense and, and, and engagements, you know, uh, they just help me remember the truth. And once I remember the truth, the things I choose to kind of do fall back into place. So that's kind of the best way uh, I can explain the three principles. Uh, and the reason I wanted to explain them because they are the foundation of my work. It's this feeling that I teach from, that I speak from, that I host from, that I coach from. Um, it's this that I'm trying to wake people up to because this is what I believe will make them have a better life. Thank you so much again and have the day you deserve.